Now looking at number eight, it says given the point A, which is at five negative three, answer the following questions. Now looking at all of these questions, I can see that we're either gonna be parallel or perpendicular to the X or Y axis. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just quickly sketch a graph and label my axes, X and Y. Now here, I'm gonna note that anything that is, I'm just gonna draw a couple lines. And I'm gonna connect those sides. So it says write the equation of a line through the point A that is parallel to the x-axis, okay? So here, if this is my x-axis going this way, I'm gonna use that top dotted line right there. So this line here is parallel to the x-axis, okay? Anytime a line is horizontal, it has the equation y equals a number. So anytime a line is vertical, it has the equation x equals a number. Okay, so parallel to the x-axis is y equals a number. And using this point, because we have to make sure we go through this point, we know that y is equal to what? Negative 3. So the equation is y equals negative 3. I don't know why I'm giving you the equation because the question says, what is the slope? Good job for reading the question, Ms. James. What is the slope? Parallel to the um, x-axis, y equals a number. These have a slope of zero. And if it's perpendicular, if it's going up and down, it's x equals the numbers. And these have a slope that we call undefined. So now let's properly answer the question. What is the slope? So what is the slope of this line? Zero, because that is a horizontal line. Next one, write the equation of a line that is parallel, that goes through the point that is parallel to the y-axis. Oh, it does say write the equation. Oh, okay, I was in right. So my equation for this one, it's parallel to the y-axis. So this line here is parallel to the y-axis. It's x equals a number. X is equal to 5 in this problem. And here our slope is undefined because it is a vertical line. Okay? Write the equation of a line through point A that is perpendicular to the x-axis. So perpendicular to the x-axis means that it is actually going through the x-axis. So it's this line here, which would be X equals, because it's going through the point, 5. And our slope for that line is undefined. I didn't write it out, so let me write it out for you. Undefined. Write the equation of a line through the point A that is perpendicular to the y-axis. So this line here is perpendicular to the y-axis. Here's the y-axis. That line's cutting through it. So that has a equation of y equals, and y in our problem is negative 3. And our slope for that line is 0. Okay, so it says, what generalizations can you make about parallel and perpendicular lines to the x and y axis as far as their slope? Well, we're going to make four different generaliz generalizations because they gave us four different problems. So I'm going to draw my chart. First one, if it's parallel to the x axis, when we're talking about slope here, the slope is zero. Also, if it's perpendicular to the y-axis, our slope is zero. I don't know what number that was going to be. Zero. So our first generalization, our slope is zero when it is parallel to the x-axis or perpendicular to the y-axis. Okay, next one. If it is perpendicular, and I'm going to abbreviate by saying perp. <laughs> if it's perpendicular to the x-axis, it has a slope of undefined. And if it's perpendicular parallel to the y-axis, it also has a slope of undefined. Okay. So our generalization for this one, our slope is undefined if it's perpendicular to the x-axis 
or parallel to the y-axis. 